Hello and welcome to the Chess Times, a weekly show where we take a look at all the happenings in the chess world throughout the week. At the end of the episode, we award someone with the player of the week and a move with the move of the week. Let's kick this episode off with the Tata Steel Masters 2021. The Tata Steel Masters 2021 has been an absolute pleasure to watch. Anish Giri with 8 out of 12 points is at the very top. There's only one round left to go, which I believe if he draws, he might just win the tournament. Magnus Carlsen has been rather underwhelming with 6.5 out of 12. And at the very bottom, you see Radoslav Wojtasek, David Anton Giharo, and Maxim Vashia Lagraf. Maxim especially, being a super GM, hasn't had his best tournament ever, quite underwhelming from him. Same goes for Magnus, he's not had his best tournament ever. But I think you can cut him some slack considering how good he's been in the online events and Norway chess as well. So that's kind of the tournament standings for you. Today will be round 13, today being Sunday, and the competition will probably be between Anish Giri, Jordan Van Foreest, Ali Reza Firuzia, and Fabiano Caruana. Since Anish Giri is in the top spot of the Tata Steel Masters, I decided to show the end of his game, round 10 game against Radoslav Wojtasek. Anish is playing white and he brilliantly played rook takes h7, after which his opponent Wojtasek resigned the game. Why did he resign? Well, simply because after king h7, rook d7 check, king g8, h7, king h8, knight takes g6 is checkmate. A nice combination by Anish. Let's move on to the next news. The Meltwater Champions Chess Tour is not going anywhere. They have just announced the Opera Euro Rapid, which includes some of the best players in the world, including Magnus Carlsen, Ding Liren, Jan Nepomniachtchi, Levon Aronian, Alexander Grischuk, and more. Seems to be a very interesting lineup and going to be a very interesting event. Here we can see the standings of the Champions Chess Tour. Timo Rojabov at the top with 91 points, quite a lot of money earned as well. Wesley So second, Levon Aroni in third, and Magnus Carlsen in fourth. If you have ever wanted to go to Dubai, this is your chance. The World Chess Championship will be held in Dubai in November 2021 as part of the Dubai Expo. Judith Polgar has been announced as the Education Ambassador for the Play Magnus group. Now, Yudis has always been associated with promoting and educating people in chess. She'll also be coming up with her own chessable courses and also will become part of the Chess24 commentary every now and then. Move of the week is from the Tata Steel Masters. In this position, Fabiano Caruana is playing black and with the black pieces, he chose to play the move Bishop takes c3. Now the reason this is the move of the week is just look at this bishop. It is such a good piece and giving it up, very counterintuitive. But Fabiano had some brilliant opening prep and he was not done there. After playing queen e6, rook f1, he grabbed a pawn, b3, queen c3, bishop d2, queen f6, bishop c1. Here he's up a pawn, but if black, if white, sorry, can suddenly play the move f4 then he can really generate counterplay with these two bishops. However, Fabiano was brilliant in his conversion and played a very nice move h5, bishop b2, knight e5, bishop e2, h4, queen c1, preparing now to push the pawn to f4. And now he went g5. It seems like you weakened your king side, but in reality, you have fixed your knight on e5 and you have actually gained space, sort of cramping white, unable to play f4. And after some time, Fabiano, being a clean pawn up, went on to win this game. The player of the week is Anish Giri for his stellar performance so far in the Tata Steel Masters and the likelihood that he will go on to win it. 